Hey guys, it's Stacy here. Welcome to my channel, Lives a Project. So today I am super excited for today's video. Not only am I going to do a project, but I'm doing a giveaway as well. So today's project is a DIY personalized Christmas ornament. So I thought it'd be fun to make another one just like the one I'm doing in this video and personalize it for the giveaway winner. So that is the prize. You will win one personalized Christmas ornament. So to enter the giveaway, it's really simple. You have to be subscribed to my channel. So if you're not, go ahead and hit subscribe and then just comment down below in this video. So subscribe and comment to this video will enter you into the giveaway. And in that comment, go ahead and let me know what letter you want on your personalized Christmas ornament so that I'll know just in case you are the winner. So if you have any more questions about the giveaway, just let me know, but I will be putting all of that information down in the video description. So let's get into this project. First here I have this four by six black picture frame from the Dollar Tree, so of course a dollar, a super good deal. I have some of this twine, jute twine that I already had from past projects. Also these poster letters from the Dollar Tree, they're such good quality for only a dollar. I've used them in several past projects. And then here I have this buffalo plaid or buffalo check in the red and black. It is a craft paper, you can get it from Hobby Lobby. Always a great deal. Usually you can get four for a dollar, so 25 cents a piece. And then I have some matching buffalo check in the red and black. This ribbon from Hobby Lobby as well. I think I got it for like 50% off. A really good deal. You get so much. And then these gift tags. These are wooden gift tags. You get a 12 count for $4.99 from Hobby Lobby. And I always get them for 40 or 50% off, which makes them about 25 cents a piece. So really great to DIY, so many great things you can do with these tags. So starting here with my Dollar Tree picture frame, and I just love the black frame, that color. I think it looks really nice and high end and it matches just about everything. Of course, I could paint it, distress it, do so many things with it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take the back off of my picture frame, remove the paper, and that paper I can use as a template so that I can take and cut my craft paper to the exact size I need to fit inside my picture frame. So all I have to do, is just cut around the paper and I'll have the exact size that I need to fit in my frame. And then you can also, if you want, just to be safe, go ahead like I did here and just take a Sharpie, a pen, whatever, and just go around the paper and just cut it out on the lines so that they both are the exact same size. And then you can just fit that right back in the picture frame on the back. And if you turn it over, See, it looks so perfect and gorgeous, so cute, I love it. So the next thing I wanna do is take some of this buffalo check ribbon and make a hanger for my ornament. And this ribbon is one inch wide and does have a wired edge. And all I've done is just kinda of eyeball the length that I want, folded the ribbon in half, and then I'll just pop up the glass and the paper because I want the ribbon to go around the frame. I think it just looks so much better that way. It'll hang really nicely and I think that it looks so high-end looking and I don't have to worry about gluing any ribbon to the back of the frame. And now I can just replace the glass and the paper and it'll kind of just press that ribbon right into the groove. And then I can see what it looks like really quickly from the front and that looks fantastic. So on to the next step. So now I want to use one of these wooden tags from Hobby Lobby and I just think against the glass just a different color and texture is going to look really nice. Now I want to add my personalization so I'm going to add an S to the little tag and I'm just using these Dollar Tree poster stickers. So I'll just kind of line that up and press that into place and then next I'll take just a small piece of this jute twine, kind of run it through the hole of the tag so it can kind of dangle down in the center of the picture frame. And so I don't, once again, have to use any glue or anything like that. I'll just remove the glass and kind of line it up with the ribbon, replace the glass and the back of the picture frame. 
So guys, here it is, almost finished, and I think it looks super great. Now all I wanna do is finish up the hanger. So on my ribbon, I could just tie a knot at the top, but I think it'll be much nicer to take some more of the jute twine and just tie a sweet little bow here at the top, coming down about an inch from the top of the ribbon. And I just wanna dovetail the ends of the ribbon to give them a nicer look. So just fold the ribbon in half and just cut it at an angle. And I think cutting the ribbon that way just gives it a nice professional look. You can pull apart the ends here so you can really see the detail. I love that sweet little bow. Love this project. So guys, here it is all finished and I think it looks so pretty. So nice and high end looking. A really nice piece to give away as a gift or just to make it for yourself to go on your tree. Now I don't have a Christmas tree up yet so I'm just kind of displaying it with the other Christmas DIYs that I've shared with you in past videos and if you haven't seen those go back and check those out. They were so much fun to put together. And you know, there's so many different ideas and inspiration you can take away from this project. I could just make this same thing and leave off the ribbon and not have it as a ornament at all. And I could use it just as a decorative piece of decor that's personalized. And I think that is a super cute idea. And you could also just leave the ribbon on it and hang it in different places, like on a door or on the wall, just whatever. So guys, I thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you will enter the giveaway do not forget about that and I hope you will follow me on Instagram as well and I thank you so much for watching guys and I will see you in the next one bye